20 Akos Artina, number 7 Peter Maracek. The um, game starts. Oh, and the game starts. So let's go in the game. Um, the Orcas play in blue and uh, Jena from Austria plays in uh, white. And we have two times 10 minutes in front of us. And uh, as you might know, um, Vienna uh, or Austria is playing here against the world champion and the ruling uh, Champions Cup champion. A ver, Colombia, están conectados. <laughs> Where is all the fan club of the Colombian team and uh, Vienna as well, the Austrian. Okay, we have now uh, Orcas in a counterattack, attacking over the close side. We have three uh, Vina defending, and uh, let's see how they prepare the tactic to be able to stop the counterattack of yeah. this team because they're very very fast. It would be fast. interesting to hear what they uh, were talking in their preparation talk uh, before the game, how they want to stop the world champion, and uh, the Orcas push heavily into the defense, but are tackled away in uh, this moment. Very well done by Austria. Um, but we see that in the, in the first minutes it's possible to withstand, but uh, the, the uh, pressure, physical condition and yeah. pressure the um, Orcas are putting into onto the other team is, is amazing. Um, well, one against one, and, and that's the goal. first goal. This is uh, Samuel 11. Gaviria. Yeah. And you saw the attack. They, they are almost all the attacks they do if they have a chance to execute it like this. They train it so much, so almost every attack succeeds and uh, is a score. Yeah, we have to say it's five o'clock in Colombia, I believe. ¿Qué hora es, chicos? Ahí con toda la familia la verde presente. What about uh, the Austrian fans? Are you there? So we have again an attack from two sides from the Colombian team that's been stopped uh, on the close side. It's difficult to see right now. And it's coming in the middle, and they will try to pass in the middle and to the other side. Move the ball around the basket. Uh, this is Daniel Arias. The, the agility with which the Colombian players play around the basket is amazing, and the ball control is also very impressive. So they, they like I said yesterday, it's very playful the way they, they swim around <coughs> your opponent and the way they, they play the ball. There's always a station they can pass to and keep the ball rolling so there's constant movement in their game and it, it, it's just like the ball is, is playing with them, they are not playing with the ball. The ball is playing with them, yeah, we need to like get the, into... The ball is, is following their <laughs> yeah. lead so it's ah, just okay. like... It's, uh, <laughs> look, look, he, he know. even did, uh, did a, a, a rebound on the pool uh, bottom. Yes. It's really very... Wow, very look at that! They pass, pass on the head on the of the goalie! The I mean, the first time I've seen such a close pass on the nose of the goalie and it got to the other side. But Vienna is doing a great job defending. It's just 1-0 and almost uh, we are the first four minutes of the, of the game gone. So it's really good. You have to remember the Orcas were first on their group, Group A, and Vienna second. So good job by Vienna from this point on. They will definitely start into, have started into this game with a uh, solid defense uh, mindset to be able to stop these fast counter-attacks and uh, the close perimeter play of the Orcas. So disturb them very close to the basket. Here another attack. Oh, that was a throw, but it didn't went in. was a very forceful throw, I think, is again by Samuel. And the way he, the, the player to just pass, stripped yeah. the, the ball out of the hand of the Vienna players was looked so effortless. We're still very close at the Austrian basket, and the pressure here is amazing. Uh, it's, compliment it's, it's to really the defense good. of Austria. Good defense now. Mm, difficult situation what for happened? the referee. Free throw against Colombia. I'm still working. I have some uh, feedback from the audience to tell me how that your microphone is good, but mine was still like too vibrating, and so I'm try regulating the the volume of entrance. So I, I need some and we feedback. Start again. Free throw for Vienna. Lost the ball. Federico, I think, trying Covered to recover. It. It's the 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 attacks from Javier. the Orcas are so fast and precise.
But uh, I have to say, Vienna is really good at disturbing them. It's not like stopping them, but disturbing their, their yes, game. Yes, I mean, they are really very, very good on, on not... Uh, but also, they already did a goal, so they are just moving around and, and see how they can start entering. Uh, they try a few times to go in with three defenders and they realize it's not working, so now I think they're going to start moving the ball maybe even faster if they can, so that they will even create more chaos in the defense and confusion. Let's see, like, we have now four They try to break defending. open the defense by playing back and forth and creating gaps, which is, uh, I have to admit, really difficult for uh, them, because the Austrians are, are covering almost all the the holes they the, the Colombians are creating with oh, their fast that, ball play that and was their a swimming. Bad pass. I mean, they got really on the hands of the defender of of Vienna, of, of, of Vienna, and uh, nevertheless they recover the ball. They're going on the surface in the corner. Probably they're waiting now to see who is diving in and approach two or three together. The question Juan is how long, yep. how long can Austria uh, hold on and um, keep up this? this defending against this constant pressure because they have to be the, the concentration they must put in the water against the attacks it's like the defense is taking the first wave next defense is coming taking goal the first wave, second goal. goal and quien lo hizo pudieron ver <laughs> eso estaba muy lleno de gente ahí el fede si sí, fede lo hizo okay <laughs> Yeah, I know, but uh, the thing with Orcas is they don't normally go for physical game. When no. they see they cannot go with the normal, they just speed up. This is what they do. Yeah. They speed up, speed up, and they move even more and faster. So they were taking the time, I think, to realize what the weakness could be of the tactic of Vienna. And that's what they're doing. That's why when, when the pace goes down, they're rethinking how they're going to exactly. approach. That was what we were talking about yesterday, I think, uh, with... Uh, Lisa, when we were talking about like it's a swarm intelligence, they are adapting to the game of it's the like other team. It's like a swarm. Team. Yeah, <laughs> swarm intelligence. Yeah, yeah, okay. So they're not only one or two players adapting, taking a break, and talking about that, but they do it while playing, adapting to the game. Wow, that was an amazing goal. It was thrown into behind the goalkeeper. Again. Yes. Again, I mean they they train that a lot. I mean this is wow. Just, that they was, have they that have was scored. Incredible few the, the decisive goals went like that. I mean, that was Oviedo, no? De nuevo Perico, ¿quién lo hizo? No. Es que estaba mirando al chat. Trember, okay. That was a throw, I, really. I, I, was, I was looking at the chat. Yeah, estaba no, mirando al so chat, fast. gente. Me so distrajo. zero now. And uh, it's really, like you said, Lorena, um, and like we uh, uh, realized yesterday, the Orcas are adapting within minutes to the game of the other team and uh, exploit the weaknesses. So it's a, a free throw against the Orcas. Here we go. Vienna tries to establish their own oh, game great. around the Colombian basket. But they are heavily interrupted in the corner. Sorry, in the corner. And uh, Colombia is in ball possession again. The Orcas are pushing forward up to the surface. Ball is passed down to create uh, more space for the ball carrier. And we are in the corner now of the Vienna basket. And uh, Colombia is pushing out of the basket, out of the corner uh, of the basket, and into the defense, pass behind the back uh, to the open side. They are already waiting there. Ball is free here. Wow, the... Austrian defense is really up to it. Very well They're seen and intercepted. Very good job. Yep. Uh, to the Austrians, they do uh, an amazing job here, interfering, intercepting. Call from the referee. A ver, Colombia, qué está pasando? Tenemos eh, una llamada referee. Tenemos un tiro libre que se ha dado bien. Bien está realmente defendiendo muy bien. Se ve que han estudiado la táctica de Orcas, sin embargo Orcas realmente es fantástico como puede readaptarse, han tomado unos minutos uh, donde la velocidad del juego lo han disminuido para observar cómo pueden explotar eh, la, la táctica y, then, y luego han hecho eh, dos goles seguidos ya luego del primero, entonces realmente es, es, está, pero este es un partido muy interesante porque Viena realmente está logrando eh, romper un poco la fluidez del contraataque de la fluidez del juego de Orcas, estamos 
el final del primer tiempo 3 a 0 para el equipo de Orcas y son las 8 de la mañana en Colombia So, für die Österreicher vielleicht willst du Wolf was sagen? Du hast eine ähm, bessere gerne. Akzent als ich. Hallo Österreich, äh, könnt ihr uns äh, im Live-Chat mal ein Feedback geben, äh, wer wo gerade zuschaut, ähm, vielleicht auch in Deutschland, kleines deutsches Feedback hier zu dem Spiel. Ähm, zu dem Spiel Orcas äh, vom Kolumbien äh, gegen äh, Wien aus Österreich. Ähm, wir haben es gerade schon ähm, auf Englisch gesagt und Lorena auf äh, Spanisch, dass die Verteidigungsarbeit hier von Österreich wirklich erstaunlich ist gegen den amtierenden Weltmeister und den amtierenden Champions Cup Meister. Ähm, die Kolumbianer ähm, zeigen aber immer wieder diese faszinierende Mannschaftseigenschaft, dass sie sich an das Spiel der gegnerischen Mannschaft als Team anpassen und sie nehmen dafür nicht mal eine Auszeit, um zu besprechen, was sie tun werden, sondern hat das Gefühl, es ist wie eine Schwarmintelligenz, die ja. sich anpasst an das Spiel des Gegners äh, in den ersten Minuten und dann die Schwächen äh, rigoros ausnutzt und in die Lücken, in die Schwächen reingeht und äh, Tore schießt. Wir haben hier einige, ähm, zwei Tore, drei Tore bisher gesehen, die wirklich faszinierend äh, rausgearbeitet waren in den Wechsel rein oder in den direkten Angriff. Aber trotzdem tolle Verteidigungsarbeit von Österreich hier, auch teilweise Vorstöße in den äh, kolumbianischen äh, Spielraum. Aber es ist wahnsinnig schwer gegen diese verspielte, aktive, ähm, sehr aggressiv ist das falsche Wort. Es ist eine Art von dynamisch, von, dynamisch, dynamisch ist das ja, so, ja. ein bisschen wie, wie verspielte Delfine, die yeah. unterwegs sind. Die spielen mit sehr viel Druck. Aber nicht um zu verletzen, nee. sondern sie spielen einfach, weil sie Spaß haben. Die Geschwindigkeit und ja. mit den Ballbewegungen, es ist genau, wirklich das ist so, so es ist schön. Es ist Druck und eine Ballkontrolle drin, die extrem schwer zu stoppen ist. Ja, also es ist eine ganz andere Spielweise als Molde, wo die auch agil und schnell sind, aber auch sehr viel Körperlichkeit mit reinbringen. Ich habe das Gefühl, Orgas äh, können weniger körperlich denn spielen. <lacht> Also ich bin jetzt äh, auf die zweite Hälfte gespannt, äh, wie aus, äh, aus Österreich hier reingehen wird. Ähm, ich glaube nicht, dass sie viel ändern müssen oder können hier in dem Spiel. Ähm, sie machen es gut und ein 3-0 in der ersten Hälfte gegen Kolumbien ist kein schlechtes Ergebnis. So let's no. switch back to English. We hey. just said some words uh, to the uh, Austrian and German uh, spectators in the livestream. And uh, we were just talking about the way, uh, the very uh, uh, astonishing way uh, Austria is defending here, very concentrated, they do a good job. And we start again, Colombia with very fast uh, first contact on the ball, but uh, the second player didn't succeed in receiving the pass and we have Austria in ball possession going forward into the Colombian uh, game area and we are close to the Colombian basket now. But the defense, the agile defense managed from the Colombians managed to get the ball and we are already on the way to the Colombian basket. And the passes in the, in the open space are really well elaborated. You see them knowing their space. Look at this game around the Austrian basket, how they pass back and forth. Samuel so is coming they, from they the don't. side. Oh, that ball just, sorry, reboot on the, on the ring. Continue. Sorry. Um, and they go in, put pressure into it, back and forth, if they don't succeed, they go out again, restart the attack, and there are always Colombian players around the basket, so they have a chance to, to keep on playing their fast game in, in the, let's say, three meters away from the basket, they do a lot of swimming, and closer to the basket we see the very precise, very forceful play with the ball, back and forth to open up space and create a gap <laughs> to score into it. And here we are back again, very close in the basket area on the open side. And Lorena, well, what do passing. you see? I, I, I think it's fantastic. Great. Juan Jos... No, ¿quién fue? ¿La Verde o fue el Calenio? No pude ver... No pude ver el número de la camiseta. Quien acaba de meter el gol de arriba, parecía uh, Juan José. Estaba, no... Fede. No, Juan. Yeah, I think it's fantastic how they um, 
when they were attacking, how they passed in between the players in such a uh, small room. Yeah, it's like uh, bullets. The, it's, they, it's they're really fantastic. like, the ball for them so, is like shooting bullets. Yeah, let's uh, very see. precise, very forceful into the hands of their teammates. Yep. Very short, but very precise passes. So they recover the ball from the Austrian there. And they counter attack in an empty basket. Number 90. 20. I think that's Rember. And uh, this was an attack. Goal de Rember. You, you, you see it in the, uh, 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 with throughout the game how they more and more managed to destroy the defense with their counter attack. And this was an, uh, a goal on the empty basket. The goalkeeper didn't make it in time to be in between. Yeah, now it's five zero. This is the time where the normally when you, the the the, the uh, maybe not such experienced team break down. I mean, this is the point where they managed to do five goals in one and a half time, and now it's the moment of let's see if Vienna can keep or if they're going to maybe do another four goals. I mean, this but is nevertheless it's only a five zero. A ver, uh, vamos a ver Colombia, ¿qué estamos haciendo aquí? Eh, los chicos están jugando muy bien y hay que ver si ahora Viena puede seguir defendiendo. Van 5 a 0. O mm. acaba de recuperar uh, Samuel el balón. Se la pasa a Federico que intenta y se la pasa a Pacho. Pacho se la pasa... ¿Quién era ese? Que no lo reconozco. <risa> Samuel de nuevo con el balón. Se la pasa... Y creo que ese es Celis... Viena, no viene del otro lado. Federico con el balón, Celis por este lado, ataca contra tres, sigue manteniendo el balón y se le acaba de sacar uno de los austríacos número 15. Muy bien, eh, Andreas Schneiderbauer, the captain. That was a very nice interception by number 15 behind the back of the Colombian player. But, uh, it's Pacho it's tiene like... el balón y está haciendo un contraataque, vienen con tres y lo acaban de sostener, tiene Samuel a la derecha y quien viene de la izquierda con el balón para atacar se la acaban de pasar a Samuel pero justo estaba saliendo Celis que recupera el balón Wolf continue, sorry I'm in the heat of the moment uh, It was the heat of the moment So um, We just saw there is uh, Pacho is playing uh, He was yesterday, he was very ill We had to call a uh, uh, a doctor, but now he's playing. Pacho, on here. Well. Yeah, he's good. Let's see, Rembert is on this side of the basket, trying to recover the ball and come from the other side. That's really so nice to see how they swim around like seals. And another goal here from Colombia. And we Hello, have a no we Estábamos mirando al chat. Sorry. Did you see who was the number? No. No. Time, time out. out uh, time out. Fire. Austria. The captain is asking for a minute of time out. Six zero. It's, I think, at least four minutes left from the second half. Yes, uh, about four minutes left. Well, altogether, um, it's not an unexpected result. I would have even thought... No, um, no, it could have been, I thought it would have been higher. ...would, would uh, score higher. So, uh, compliments to the game here of Austria. Don't um, underestimate We saw them, uh, their national team playing um, at Graz, also very experienced, very um, tight playing of the whole team. So um, you have to be good to play this way against the Orcas from Colombia. Yes, I mean they were really successful for many, many minutes to stop the counter attacks and, and make think them think how to, you know, re-attack. They they can be uh, well. You lose the game and you're never satisfied with it, but they, uh, in this combination, they do really do a good game. And we're back again. Uh, can we have the underwater picture, please? Thank, Thank you. you. And Diaz, Camilo, coming with the ball, passing. And we have four of the Orcas now, three coming over the corner. Pacho has the ball. Ochoa. 
and pass it back and forward with Camilo and I think further from the other side comes on the side passing again over the head over the nose it's really this is very impressive pass <laughs> and how they switch from uh, swimming to passing when they are a little bit farther away here we see the swimming part when they are about two meters away when they get closer they switch to this very yep. bullet proof style uh, playing oh, with the ball. Oh, they almost missed that pass. I mean, they're coming over the close side. They're also not trying to find a way how to stop it. Yeah. The defense of Austria they is amazing. Turn around and turn around and turn around. It's like they were dancing salsa. Their Camilo. exchanges are really like uh, in a high frequency. So there is always a player in between the attack and the ball of the Colombians. Uh, amazing defense work here and also an amazing attack by the outcasts who just go in and in and in. It's, it's like dolphins going into a, a swarm to break it up. Uh, <laughs> great scene Pacho. we see here uh, from both teams. This is uh, amazing underwater rugby. This look look how fast they are going back and forward, back yeah. and forward. And the poor defenders of Wien, I mean, going back uh, to one uh, side or the other. I'm amazed by, by Vienna, how they can keep up with it uh, at that pace for such a long time. They're, they're all blocking, I mean, they're almost defending with two men, you see, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. they're, That's what they're doing said. a huge... Their frequency is really high, so they are always they like have two like people a wall. between. Yeah. Someone there going in between the white players and trying to get, and coming from the side, on oh, the other side, passing nice to pass number 32, the the and that Ochoa. Is it, what you, you play the defense dizzy, and at one point the pass the unexpected pass comes and was over the head of the goalkeeper into the hands of the waiting player on the open side it's and he executed the typical attack they, of the outcast. They play uh, a circle which is in a, in a three dimension, not in two dimension, and it gets closer, 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 closer to the... Yeah. To the and, then uh, and then eventually it's the on inside. It's just so fantastic to see. So, let's see, pass here, counter attack. Pass and oh almost got lost and the surface now uh trying to recover the ball but colombia is still in possession la verde coming from this side i think rember just got it and is trying to go with a close corner and federico one and a half minutes left here in and the second half daniel la verde from the side knowing what he knows best oh. and boom goal de la verde he's so amazing and this is tactic he comes like a, like a tank and, and then and the but, ball but is... But the <laughs> thing is, the, the mixture in, in his game with the mass, the, the strength and the, the precision he's playing, it's just like he's, he's... And he's super young again. He's 21. He's 20. 20. He's, he's uh, U21. Yeah, okay. He's 20 yeah. years old. So, and he played for, what was it? Two years. Two years. So imagine him... Uh, uh, playing for another four years. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's go back in the game. Uh, Austria is trying to do really everything to stop, but Orcas keeps swimming. Samuel got Federico from the other side, coming from the side. The goalkeeper is trying to stop successfully. 30 seconds left. Samuel is still on this side. He's probably about to leave. He was there for a long time. And uh, who is trying to pass the ball, trying to find someone, small stop, someone back there, ah, uh, no, this is, was not nice, I mean, all the three no, of them trying to recover the, the ball. The here almost uh, interfered with their own game, oh, now we have almost, Diego, yeah. and oh, that was, that and was Samuel, awesome. okay, <laughs> <laughs> two chances here to score, one and attack on the back of the second one, almost Austria. strong. And that's it, A0, that's a fantastic result considering they're playing with the uh, champion, not just of the champion cup but also of the world because uh, all of this team play in the World Cup in Graz. So A0 and blue keep winning, white, the, the white teams so uh, just Congratulations to the yep. Austrian team for doing an amazing defense work and you cannot say it otherwise, it was uh, just defense throughout the two uh, halves, the two time ten minutes, but they done a, a very amazing job and uh, again impressive performance by the outcast from Colombia.
in showing their uh, dolphin playful style in, in playing and adapting to the game of the opponent. Um, impressive. So, who I don't is know. coming up? I don't know. <laughs> I was looking for that. I'm missing that information. So we'll see. Joshua, can you find out for us who's playing in the next game? Thank you. The Orcas, the girls? Ah, Orcas been ah. the same, but with the, the women. I know, this is a still, sorry, this is still the male. the male. So Orcas, the girls I can see. Felicitaciones a Orcas, Colombia, de, acaban de uh, ganar el partido 8 a 0 contra Viena. Y ahora siguen las niñas. Y no sé quién, ah, Black Mermaids. Ok, contra Suecia. So a uh, women's game coming up here and we have Black Mermaids in white and uh, the Orca female team in blue. I think uh, the uh, Black Mermaids are also not, don't have their uh, full ah, team yes, strength sorry. as far as I remember. Let us check the... This is the, the women, exactly. There's the orcas and the black women. So mermaid. we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 players in the, the Black Mary team. This is Kaisa Lilia with number 2, Linda Carto with number 3, Antonia Helm with 4, Senior Davidson with number 6, Saga Blomberg with number 13, Ellen Strand with number 14, Victoria Isaacson 15, Eva Eriksson 33, Erika Lindström 83, and Mayra Price with 99. And Orca Femenino, tenemos dos, Manuela González 7, Daniela Marín 10, uh, Lilo Díaz 12, Sofía Arango 15, Margarita García 17, Claudia Echeverri 19, Angélica Miranda 21, Silvia López 26, Manuela Torres 28, María Camila Henao 72, Mariana Castaño 88, Carolina Zuleta uh, I would say favorite here, the Orca team. Definitely the Orcas, um, but we have to uh, um, say they have really young players in the team. So it's uh, it's another team that uh, the one we saw in uh, uh, the last Champions Cup. Yes, this is uh, the year before because last year we had the Castore. And we have few of the newer players. They Orcas always try to bring people from the U21 to give them yeah. experience and. And also, it's it's the problem uh, from who, uh, who can all pay. these. Uh, yeah, the the teams coming over. They have uh, can not only choose who they want, but who is able to have the time and the money. Um, but it's a good experience for every player to it, be able it, to play It's amazing the that Cup. they could make it twice to Europe within two yes. months, right? August, September, October, yeah, within two months, three months tops. The men uh, had the luck uh, to be paid now for the flight and the hotel by the Federation, by the Colombian Federation. Because they won the championship. Yeah. And, uh, the but the women had, had to, to pay themselves. themselves. Yeah. So yes, uh, I guess it will be a tough game for the Black Mermaids. Um, and I'm sure we have Anne-Sophie watching uh, <laughs> from home uh, for her team. 